Now we would like to welcome Pastor Paul Burns from King Fellowship Belfast to pray for Israel. You know, when John asked me to pray for Israel, uh, as many, many know, I'm obviously from Northern Ireland, an Ulsterman, uh, a Northerner, but I'm also Messianic and my family suffered uh, in the Holocaust and lost a lot. My uncle came across in 1938 when anti-Semitism was rife across Europe and has risen again. And I feel a pain in my heart when I see it. And I share it because I weep with it, but at the same time, I weep also when I see Israel. I think of the Holocaust victims who are still there. But I think also of the young Arab children, the Messianic Christians, the Jewish people, the Muslim people caught up in this wilderness of what is hatred being used by the evil one. And I cry out to God and I say, Father, Father, how long? How long will your people suffer? How long must this continue in your land, the land of the Garden of Gethsemane, where you weeped and said, not my will, but yours be done. And he gave me this today as I'm praying. You find it in verse 3 of Isaiah 40. It's a voice of one who cries, be purr in the wilderness the way of the Lord. Clear away the obstacles, make straight the smooth in the desert a highway for God. And then he reminded me of Abraham when he spoke to him. And he said, there be ten righteous people. And he says, son, there's more than ten righteous people in the land of Israel and its cities. And I have a plan. And everything is working to that plan. So I pray for this plan right now. That revival is coming in the nation of Israel. In the messianic congregations. To the Jewish people in that land. To those that have come through suffering in Europe. To the Arab children. To the Arab leaders to those that want genuine peace and to come against that great fear that Satan puts in people's hearts. For when fear comes in, distrust comes in. When distrust and animosity and bitterness comes in, hatred comes in. And we pray against that in Jesus' name. Our God is a God of love. Our God is a God of deliverance and a God of power. But I believe that out of this, and I have wept, I've wept for this land and I've wept for the land of Israel. For I'm proud to belong to this land that has taken the gospel forth. I'm also proud of my heritage. But you know, I was really weeping down there today as we pray. I don't want to cross anyone else's. But I was weeping because I seen all nations and all nations church of all different people from all different regions, from all nations who love God. And that's why I'm praying for Israel, because I believe our Lord is doing a work, but I believe that our little island is also tied into that work. And as he does it in Israel, he's building up in our own wee island. And I see revival coming, not a new revival, not a Hebrew revival, not a Welsh revival, not a revival in America, but a revival of the hearts of God's people in Israel and here, brought about by a movement of God's spirit. And so I pray right now, Father, that you would move in this land of Israel. And we would say, come, Lord Jesus, come. For we know that Israel plays its part and Jerusalem, your city, will play its part in the last days. But we see and we hear of great things going on that the media doesn't talk about. And it's not a wilderness. People are coming to Christ. Even in this terrible time, hearts are being given to Christ in Iran. In Jordan, in Iraq, in Syria, in Israel, and all the nations around, they're coming to see Jesus. And so we pray for a great movement in the nation of Israel. We pray that this war will come to an end. We pray that the movement of God and God's people will move throughout the land. And we will see the coming time of preparation for our Lord's return. And we look forward to that. So we pray for the peace of Israel. We pray for everyone involved, Arab, Jew, Muslim, and every nation in the land of Israel at this time, that they would see and feel the movement of God, that there's another spirit out there that is not the spirit of fear, but it's a spirit and power of Almighty God. Amen and glory be to Jesus. 
And so, Father, we go out here today and we believe. We believe that, as has been prayed before by that dear lady in our family of Christ, that the power of God is going to move in this land and in the land of Israel. And many Jewish people are going to acknowledge Yeshua as Lord and Savior of their life. It is in the scriptures, it is in the Torah, it is in the teachings. The book of Bereshit, Genesis. For out of the woman will come him who will bruise the serpent's head. Our Lord Jesus, Yeshua. So, Father, may many of my people and many of the peoples in the land of Israel at this time, right across and into Tel Aviv and in the cities of Haifa and further, Ashkelon and in Gaza, see the movement of God in their hearts and see the Savior who is going to change their land, going to change their thinking and remove fear in their hearts and replace it with hope, light, love and the kingdom of God. Going out from Israel to all the nations that out of terrible strife and terrible wilderness years will come the power of Almighty God. Amen. Amen.